Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This is just another quick video on how to edit a password protected file. So you can see here we have a Word document and I've been asked for this video quite a bit. And you can see here we have a Word document that is protected with uh, a password. So if I look at this and push, try to edit any of this uh, content here, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get this restrict editing and uh, you can see here it says stop protection so the only way you can stop the protection is if you know the password and that's pretty much impossible but I'm going to show you a really easy way to get around this if you have uh, a document that you wish to edit now sometimes uh, you may be thinking that how is this going to ever happen well if you work in a company and uh, you've got a temporary staff there and they create a document just like this and uh, it's protected which normally is the case and that person then leaves sometimes they forget to uh, give you the password and then they can't edit the document and this is quite a common uh, thing that happens so I'm going to show you how you can get around this now you will have to do a couple of little edits after you've done this but it should be pretty much okay uh, to deal with so let's start off with um, closing it off now we have the original here as you can see so what I'm going to do I'm going to right click and open with now once we've opened with we can now choose another application go go to more apps and pull down to the required uh, program that you want to use we're going to be using wordpad here click wordpad we don't have to always use this app we're just going to use it once click OK and there you can see it's opened this up in wordpad now this will allow me to make edits believe it or not so you can just make edits like so so you can take out what you like uh, and the password now has been removed so here you can see we have got uh, all this content here now theoretically you could uh, save this as another file if you wanted to so you could actually copy and paste this in physically if you wanted to do that by just doing this or you can save it as another document uh, but if you wanted to do that you could open up Word and just copy and paste that in so we're just gonna go to here and we're gonna paste this in like so And there you have it we have the document all copied and we can now edit this document as you can well see just like so now also if you wanted to uh, get around that you could also uh, open, save that file into you could save this file which is the wordpad file which you can see here wordpad at the top you can save this file as another particular type of file without copying and pasting it so if you wanted to do that you could do so uh, by looking here as you can see by rich text uh, text format you can uh, save it as an office open XML document you can save it to whatever you like and it will open up in there the problem with doing it this way is sometimes uh, it does make uh, changes to the text format and I'll show you that quickly before we stop there so I'm just going to quickly put a two in front of that so we know it's a that's the version we can close this off now so here we have our new document number two so without copying and pasting if we open this up you'll see that the links have changed and you'd have to redo all those links here which isn't a big deal uh, but it's just a little bit more of a faff to mess around with but if you wanted to get around it you could just copy and paste it just like I did there and that's basically how you can make edits to a password protected document by using this method. I hope this one helps you out. I'm pretty sure it will do. It'll help someone. Uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any video requests or any problems with your computers or anything like that or just want to join the community, then head over to the forums. It's free to join up over there. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, uh, you can pop over there and give us a little like up over there. It doesn't cost you anything. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Thanks for continued support. Bye for now.